hi uh, welcome all today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the interesting as well as an important topic and uh, it is none other than the concord aircraft and i hope uh, some of you already know about uh, concord jet uh, but yes uh, we can start from the introduction first of all what is a concord jet the concord is the only passenger plane that flies faster than the speed of sound and more precisely saying it can fly from new york to london in less than 4 hours and uh, next uh, we can uh, start from the history and the hi- uh, history of concorde aircraft start from 1959 and the great britain thinking of a uh, commercial supersonic airplanes uh, for uh, travel from one continent to other continent or uh, one place from another place with a uh, half or 1 by 3rd of the usual time and uh, they try to implement uh, such a type of aircraft in that uh, period itself they test a supersonic wing uh, in 17th of august 1962 but uh, they actually implemented the uh, complete uh, structure of aircraft in 1976 and the first commercial flight for the concord is uh, came to on board and uh, but uh, in 23rd of july 2000 british airways uh, discloses that cracks had been found in the wings of all seven of its concorde jets and also air france makes a similar disclosure the following day having found cracks in four of its six concordes and also 25th of july 2000 and a huge disaster happened uh, in concord aircraft an air france concord flying to new york crashes outside paris shortly after take off killing all 113 people on board and four people on the ground and the history mark it as a disaster and uh, yes the concord was uh, rejected suddenly after this uh, after this accident and uh, now we can discuss about uh, What is the difference between a Concorde and other passenger jets? A Boeing 747 aircraft goes at about 560 meter per hour or at least 901 kilometer per hour and the Mach is recorded as 0.84. Uh, it is at an altitude of 35,000 feet. You can uh, imagine how much uh, distance it is from the sea level or uh, 10,675 meter. In contrast, the Concorde cruises at such a 2172 km per hour and uh, in another word we can say the mach number of such an aircraft is 2 it is uh, that means it is greater than sonic speed and uh, we can mark it as a supersonic aircraft and uh, the altitude is um, above 60000 feet or 18300 meter but uh, when combined the seating capacity the concorde can afford only 100 passengers while a boeing 747 can take up to 416 passengers it is uh, one of the main difference between uh, a concorde and a usual passenger aircraft and uh, another difference is the concorde has no video capabilities because it was thought too heavy however the boeing 747 does have it and uh, why it doesn't have a video capability because uh, it is uh, flying at a speed of, uh, which is greater than the speed of sound so uh, video capturing is uh, not possible in such type of aircraft and uh, we can uh, discuss about some other uh, important criteria regarding concorde uh, which is absent in other aircraft as any aircraft approaches the speed of sound the air pressure build ups in front of the aircraft forming a wall of air to punch through that wall of air planes must be streamlined okay uh, this is an important properties of uh, our concorde aircraft because the concorde as uh, we already told that concorde aircraft uh, flying at a speed which is greater than the speed of sound and uh, so the air pressure build ups in front of the aircraft a uh, an air barrier is building up in front of the aircraft and uh, which is called a wall of air and this is uh, this will be act- acting actually acting as a wall or barrier and to punch through the wall of air planes must be streamlined and the streamlined design include needle like fuselage and which is absent uh, in our usual aircraft or commercial aircraft and set back delta wing movable nose vertical tail design and the long narrow shape of the concorde reduces the drag on the plane as it moves through the air 
and uh, the uh, the wings and the entire body is designed to uh, reduce uh, this uh, barrier or reduce the wall of wall pressure and uh, coming to the next point the concord has a longer needle shaped nose compared to most commercial jets the nose helps penetrate the air and can be tilted down upon take off and landing which is approximately 13 degrees so that the pilots can see the runway also the concord's nose has a visor to protect the windshield when flying at supersonic speed uh when uh, when we are crossing uh, the speed of sound we have to adapt uh, most important characters uh, of this uh, aircraft so we have to create the aircraft in such a way that it can it should have uh, passed through the air barrier or the air wall and uh, coming to the engine design engine builds into the wing okay engine engine will be implemented into the wings and the engines on the concorde provide the thrust necessary for take off cruising and landing it, it is also present in other aircraft other commercial aircraft the engine provide uh, most of the thrust uh, take off thrust cruising and landing force and the concorde has four rolls royce olympics 593 turbojet engines and each engine generate 18.7 tons or 180 kilo newton of thrust which will be necessary to uh, overcome this air barrier together the four engine burn 6771 gallons or 25629 liters of fuel per hour now note the point Six, uh, uh, almost 26000 liters of fuel per hour and uh, we can imagine how much uh, fuel it needed for uh, flying in uh, flying from one place to another place yes of course uh, it will reduce the time uh, time for travel but uh, the cost is unimaginable and uh, we can come to the specifications and uh, type type of aircraft aerospatial concorde and overall length the length of the concorde aircraft is uh, 62.1 meter approximately 62.1 meter and uh, wingspan is 25.55 meter and uh, the engine is of course four rolls royce engine with afterburners and maximum speed 2.04 mac uh, the mac number will be uh, approximately 2.04 or we can say 2 and uh, the speed the speed will be 2179 km per hour one hour okay the uh, plane will uh, the pl the plane will fly uh, 2117 km in one hour and maximum range it can uh, reach a maximum range of 6582 km and the ceiling will be 18290 km or uh, 60000 feet approximately 55 uh, 424 feet and other data uh, which uh, is necessary to understand the other features of the aircraft is take off speed 360 km per hour and the landing speed will be 300 km per hour runway length required for take off is 3590 meters and acceleration on take off 0 to 360 km per hour in 20 seconds and the passenger capacity which is approximately 100 and overall length is 62 meters maximum take off weight 185000 kilograms and engine will be four with 17000 kg thrust each and the fuel capacity is 94800 kilograms and uh, the maximum range it's covered is 6545 km and flight time new york to paris 3 uh, 3 hour 35 minutes okay uh, come to the next point and uh, the concorde's engines are attached directly to the underside of the wing without engine struts this design reduces air turbulence and makes for a more stable engine uh, when coming to the supersonic speed the air turbulence is the main uh, villain of the story because uh, the turbulence makes uh, the flying is uh, flying approximately impossible and uh, we have to overcome uh, such a turbulent force uh, in such type of aircraft Uh, so the engines are at attached directly to the underside of the wing without an engine struts so uh, this type of design actually reduces the air turbulence and the uh, adverse effect uh, which caused by the air turbulence and uh, which will make the uh, 
engine more stable and at the supersonic speeds engine struts would be over stressed and likely to break why engine struts are absent in uh, concorde aircraft which we, which is uh, present in other commercial aircraft because uh, at a high speed at uh, at this type of mach number the engine strut would be over stressed and which will be uh, likely to be break during uh, during the flying so uh, that's the reason uh, engine struts are absent in such a type of aircraft that means uh, such a type of supersonic aircraft and uh, we can uh, talk about the fuel tanks it contains main and and auxiliary fuel tanks the concorde has 17 fuel tanks that can hold a total of 31569 gallons or 119500 liters of kerosene fuel and uh, uh, can you imagine the uh, number of fuel tanks present in a concorde these 17 fuel tanks uh, and uh, that uh, it's it is a very important character of the of our concorde aircraft because um, uh, it it will take a lot of fuel uh, for the traveling and so we have to uh, maintain a sufficient amount of fuel in each travel the concorde also has three auxiliary or trim fuel tanks that are used to maintain center of gravity equal to center of lift and uh, which actually balances the aircraft uh, during the flight and uh, we can talk about uh, an another important character high reflectivity paint the concorde moves faster than sound we already mentioned that the air pressure and friction really heat up the plane and uh, when we uh, talk about uh, uh, the friction and the uh, heat uh, formed during the flying uh, is uh, completely unimaginable and uh, we have to we have to transfer such uh, heat from the uh, from the main body to the atmosphere otherwise it will heat up and completely damage our structure and the uh, uh, friction collision with air molecules uh, which will heat up the plane the temperature of aircraft skin varies from 261 degree fahrenheit that is 127 degree celsius at the nose to 91 degree celsius at the tail okay uh, it is higher in the uh, nose region uh, it is almost 127 degree celsius and uh, 91 degree celsius at the tail portion to help uh, reflect and radiate this heat the concord has a high reflectivity white paint that is about twice as reflective as the white paint on other jets and we all know that uh, white is the color which will uh, reflect uh, which will reflect almost uh, all the heat and almost all the energy it carries and uh, when coming to the uh, concords uh, concords uh, outside paint that's uh, the structure paint it is uh, twice as reflective as uh, what we actually used in other type of commercial aircraft because uh, it has to um, it has to reflect and it has to remove uh, the uh, sufficient amount of heat uh, when the aircraft during flying time to minimize the stress on the aircraft, the Concorde is made of a special aluminum alloy that is lightweight and more heat tolerant than titanium. Okay, we can uh, talk about the uh, material that we are actually used in uh, used to create such a type of structure. We can discuss this, uh, discuss it later. And uh, now we can uh, coming to the uh, coming to an, uh, another important uh, point: the type of uh, engine. It is actually axial flow two spool or uh, turbo jet with partial after burning engine and uh, the intake will be it is a uh, fabricated titanium casing with zero swirl five spoke support for the front low pressure combustor be uh, bearing and in the concourse the engine is installed downstream of an intake duct incorporating auxiliary intake and exit door system and a throat of variable profile and cross section uh, we are uh, in this section we are talking about the intake of the concorde aircraft and uh, it is a uh, it is tightly fabricated titanium casing with zero swirl and five spoke uh, support for the front low pressure compressor bearing and in the concorde the engine is installed downstream of an intake okay in concorde aircraft the engine is installed installed uh, downstream uh, downstream of the downstream of the flow and which is incorporating axillary intake and the low pressure compressor seven stage axial flow type with all blading and dust manufactured from titanium material 
and single piece casing machine from a stainless steel forging electrochemically machined uh, uh, how we are making such a type of low pressure compressor because it has to withstand a very high stress very high uh, heat um, heating effect also uh, very high uh, wall pressure and a high pressure compressor seven stage axial flow compressor and the first three stages are of blades are made from titanium alloy remaining stages are made from a heat resistant material due to very high compressor delivery temperature during supersonic flight steel single piece casing uh, the mass flow rate is approximately 186 kg per second and the overall pressure ratio is 15.1 is 15.5 is to 1 it is the pressure ratio of the engine uh, in this figure uh, you can see uh, the nozzle of uh, a uh, usual uh, concord aircraft and okay uh, coming to the material coming to the metal side uh, the low pressure and uh, high pressure compressor uh, high pressure in case of high pressure compressor there is a uh, first few stages and rotors stators and the inlet spikes are made of titanium material uh, it is not actually titanium titanium alloy the material combines lightness with the strength needed to handle foreign objects such as ice birds and some unusual atmospheric conditions and so on and uh, to deal with the high delivery temperature in supersonic cruise nickel based alloys are used for the blades of the final four high pressure compressor and uh, rotors and stators and uh, why we are using uh, nickel based alloys because uh, nickel can withstand uh, more uh, temperature or uh, more uh, heating effect than uh, titanium alloys so um, uh, the blades of the final four stage high pressure compressor rotors and stators are made of nickel based alloys so it can withstand a more heating effect and these alloys are also used for high pressure and low pressure turbine rotor and stator blades and why we are using uh, different materials in uh, uh, different uh, different structures why we can use only one metal in uh, every structure because uh, uh, the o each and every structure deals with uh, different different characteristics and also uh, it it also deals uh, different properties of the aircraft so we have to um, we have to assign the material according to uh, according to the according to the need of uh, each uh, part and wasp alloy is a high nickel content alloy with excellent tensile strength and grip properties okay wasp alloy is uh, it is a it is a type of nickel content alloy uh, it contains uh, more nickel and uh, some carbon based materials and it have more tensile strength than grip properties it is used for the final four high pressure compressor discs uh, disc the combustion chamber inner and outer casings port turbine disc and exhaust outer annulus casting chambers and the ca the casing of the compressor are made from a one piece steel construction okay because um, steel can uh, with uh, steel can withstand uh, more stress than other type of alloys so that's why we are using uh, one piece steel uh, construction in our casing and uh, this is all about our concorde aircraft this is uh, the main features of the concorde aircraft and uh, it is uh, but it is not the end of uh, the history or the features of an aircraft of a concorde aircraft uh, but uh, yes um, i hope uh, you all understand uh, the main features uh, the history the introduction of uh, a concorde aircraft but uh, before concluding we can also uh, talk about why the concorde was not a success because it was not a cost efficient project uh, because it demand decrease and cost increase it cost around approximately 9300 dollar to go from europe to us round trip in a concorde because uh, the passenger uh, should have spent at least 9300 dollars from uh, going from europe to usa and it is uh, it is actually uh, a very higher price uh, for a uh, usual passenger is yes, of course uh, for higher uh, people uh, it will be okay but um, for a usual passenger it is not a uh, it is not an acceptable solution so that's why they are actually dropping the idea of making a commercial supersonic aircraft because uh, it is not a cost effective project also uh, 
द रिस्क इज रियली हायर दैन अदर प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड द फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट कॉन्कोड वॉज ऑल्सो क्राश्ड विद इन विद इन विद इन ए सेकेंड ऑफ टाइम आफ्टर इट टेक ऑफ and uh, it is an another reason for dropping uh, such a idea of making a commercial concorde or commercial supersonic aircraft uh, for our daily needs okay thank you uh, this is all about our concorde airplane and you can refer uh, different citation different articles to know more about the concorde aircraft and other supersonic aircraft thank you